Have you ever seen this book? If you haven't, I suggest that you uh, have a look for it because it is an absolutely... Let's cut this light out of it. It's an absolutely fantastic book. And um, it makes it so basic and, and easy to use. And I think that it'd be a fantastic thing for people to look at if you're wanting to get into drawing comics. And if you ask any artist who does any comic work, they've all probably had a look at this. Now, most people like to do character design, so I'm not going to go through all of this book. <clears throat> but I enjoy my character design, but I also love my environmental, which is what happens in the beginning of this. It shows you about perspective, which I've also got other videos on that as well myself. But the next page is something that really stuck with me when I was um, when I was young and I got this as a paperback book. Um, and it was this. Nice and simple for characters. And it just taught me one really important thing. Here it says that this is the best and this is the best. These aren't bad and these are weak. And what it is, is it's throwing a punch. Now, well, that's how it looks here. And I've always depicted it as that in my head. And I just remember this, the furthest extremes of just before, when you're about to throw the punch, or just after, when you've thrown the punch and you've overextended it, so you've really made it look like you're showing that they're going to throw a punch, which won't happen in real life because you won't want to show them that you, you were going to throw a punch. But in this, it's good to show that you are. So... Really laid back here with his back arm ready for coming over, tilted shoulder, leg holding him in proportion, uh, holding him in um, in balance, and then following all the way through, not too bad. Weak here because it's during the start of the action of hitting, and then not bad again just after, but this is the full extension, so full extension after, full extension before. These are the best ones, and I always remember that these are the best ones. And when you add another character, here, the person will be stood in front as if he's either going to be getting hit with, ah, type of look from behind or, or just to the side. And with this one, they're going to be like falling backwards, which is a fantastic way of just illustrating the best dramatic pose for um, the, the character. You can use these in between, and they might be used for something a little bit more subtle. Like maybe if you're just going, think, and just hitting someone gently and in a comedic sort of like fashion. But these two are the like full extreme of having a nice dramatic pose. Okay, let's make the bones about this. So I'm going to do a dramatic pose. I'm, I'm going to do someone like jumping. Um, I think so. We get the head. I'm going to make the bones of it. And then I've got shoulder here, probably one here, and then arm. Um, I'll do it a little bit more foreshortening, and then fist up here. Um, then we'll have. Oh, maybe this one come back a little bit. So foreshortening again. And then uh, a, a fist here, which will be a bit smaller, obviously. This, than this one um, and then we'll make it this way around and then I won't do it quite as far back so someone's like flying for someone like rah, angry and then we've got hip here and then obviously there's going to be one here and then obviously there's going to be legs out, um, coming down to the knee and then sprawling out down to the knee again uh, and I think I'll leave it at that and then I'll put some legs in at the bottom now I'm going to do all cylinders from here um, like this bring that in and okay so we've got forearm happening this is going to be obviously very very basic but you're going to see that that actually has got a pose to it uh, so we've got the um the shoulder coming in this is popping back out and the chest is going to be here popping back in that's where the back is 
just me working out um, what's going where. Cylinder again for the arm. Coming back into the shoulder. So this one's coming forward, this one's coming back. In fact, we could foreshorten that even more. That'd be quite good. Then raise that up a little bit. And have the hand coming up here. And get me a little eraser. Just sketching it out for now. So all we need to do is sketch it out. And then we can roll off the buttock down to the knee. And then in and out. Not quite as dramatic as that. It didn't need to be that dramatic. Um, and then obviously the hips come into here. And comes up here. This just takes a bit of time and practice does this. So the more that you practice this, the quicker these cylinders will go in. I'm just working out where um, his, her crotch area is going to be. And then there should be like a foot here because it'll go like that. So the foot can go here. And then there should be a leg here as well if they're playing forward with a foot here uh, in the background. So that's them now. There we go. That's them like rah, jumping forward. And it, they'd have like an angry, angry face. Um, let me just bob some, something in here just so that we've got like a, a head some <laughs> some type of head anyway doesn't have to be accurate oh frowny eyes good type of thing anyway so this just gives you the idea of obviously that head's too big but um it gives you an idea of the pose that it, it it's 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 um didn't get it in that um, that, that it's it's actually posing at, so it's dramatic. So it's jumping forward like, ah, and it's coming in, it's jumping forward. So, but this is a movement action, a bit like what we were doing, with, what I was showing you before on the other page, where it was showing you that um, from the punching sort of point of view, where it went all the way through. We can look at things other ways as well. So such as, um, I like to draw the skeletons down first. Sometimes I actually draw them with like a barrel chest. It's just a little bit easier um, for me, which is what I'll do on this one. How about if you're watching or looking at a fantasy comic or something like that, and someone was casting a spell. Now casting that spell might be just poof, or it could be poof, like really dramatic, like they're throwing it with power. Magic's magic. It shouldn't have to be thrown with power. It should have power within the magic, but... To make it look like it's coming with force, it's like brought from behind them. A little bit like a punch, I suppose. But if we draw the like stick man type of thing again, or stick woman, whichever you wish. And then we arch it like this. And then we, we bring it from behind, like it's really gonna be coming from here, from a hand. And then this one's got to obviously, once again, balance balance out this hand. So he's got a tilt to it. Don't know why I'm doing these noises tonight. But so we've got the hand and then maybe we should put the chest in like this. So then you can see, see the chest like this. Um, I'm going to have the chest a little bit like that. So um, this will be the side of the body. Uh, and then come down here with a circle and we've got one hip here and then we'll have another hip here and balance again so put it down onto the, the tippy toes like so he's, he's pivoting backwards so this other leg would be up a bit like a, a baseball player i suppose a bit like this up in the air And it's going to be throwing that, so he's, he's, he's going to throw that um, that magic out. And that would make make sense, wouldn't it? 
I'm not going to do all this drawing it head again, but hey, it's difficult not to. <laughs> but you can see that that's a dramatic, okay, I've done arms too long and stuff, but it's a dramatic pose. So that's, there we go. It's dramatic. And that's, that's what you're needing. You're needing that, that bit before it or the bit after it as well. So this arm then will be straight forward and your head would be, your head would be down. And the arm, the shoulder would be here and the arm would be across here as, as much as possible. Cause you'd be pointing that, that hand that way, which means then the other shoulder would be here and you'd have balance again. And then we'd have the we'd have the chest and the back. Like this. And the stomach will be in here. I'd actually angle it more that way, to be honest with you. Because it'd be leaning forward. I'll just rub that bit out so you can see what I'm on about. So this is leaning forward. And then this leg would have hit the floor. So the leg on the opposite side would have hit the floor and be back and down like that. And this one would probably be up like that. Maybe even with a little bit of a kink in it. So it's thrown forward. Even more forward even than that, maybe. This is a nice thing you can play around with it. So it's gone from throwing it to have thrown it. Like Mess around with these skeletons first. Make it look like it's dramatic because that's that's what you're looking for in these sort of poses. You're looking for drama, you're looking for, for that actual um, action. It's, it's an action figure, so it's got to show its action. Anyway, if you read through that book or even look at different poses of people, type in and put dramatic poses for comics or something, and it'll come up with different ideas and it'll give you positions of people and try and start with the skeletons first and then and then start drawing them in like this and having um, having a look at what you can do by drawing these little skeleton things here, okay? Because the more that you get used to these and then making them into cylinders, the better that your drawings will become and more poses would become. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I'll say goodbye. <laughs> and I'll catch you later.